So, important distinction to make. I've always been fine with strangers. Um, and I, I've talked about this before on here. I, I have virtually no social anxiety in, in most circumstances when dealing with strangers, especially if they're not in a, introduced as being in a position of authority over me or anything, um, you know, for me to worry about like that. Um, I'm fine with strangers because there's no, you know, especially if it's people I, you know, I don't intend to interact with again, um, you know, because there's just, there's no pressure for me. It's like, whatever, you know, it's just practice, it's just, it, it's low stakes, you know, um, but the, the, where the anxiety sets in, and where the ineptitude sets in, and all that stuff is people that I do know, or people that I'm, like, going to be, people that will affect my life, so, like, coworkers, for example, you know, or things like that is, like, you know, the, those are the people that, like, okay, well, I'm, I have to, like, get along with these people every day, you know, so I have to figure out a way, you know, and so, you know, that, that's that been the, that's been the, the thing, it's like, settings like that, I don't know how I would have fared a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, you know, uh, in that kind of environment, but, you know, just dive in head first in there, and that's where a lot of the stuff, you know, where the, the comfort zone expansion comes in, I've done a lot of things. I mean, I'm looking at I'm looking at today even. Something I did today. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'm sorry. It's too it's too personal. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But you know, I'm overall I'm proud. I'm proud of myself. And there's there's a part of me admittedly that's like, dude, why why did you say that? <laughs> why why did you tell her that, you know? Like man, like you know, it's, you better hope she doesn't take that the wrong way, you know, or like, whatever. But, um, you know, it's like something I would have never done, never done, ever in the past. Just because, like, my mind just would not, my, my lizard brain, <laughs> as they say, just would not have let me. It would have forbid it. And it did, but I overrode it today. Because I was, to, I mean, I, admittedly, I was feeling good today. I, you know, I was, I was pretty happy. Um, but still, like, even on my best days in the past, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. But <laughs> today, for whatever reason, I was like, you know what? Today's the day. Screw it, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying it. And, uh, and I did. And uh, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how it, how it goes. Um, but yeah, so it was a particular message that I sent to a, a certain someone. <laughs> that's, that's it, that's all I gotta say. Uh, I have not received a reply yet. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever, at least, at least, at least it's known. Um, yeah, so, so you know, I'm not gonna be part of the the lunch table discussion, whatever, for the next bunch of days anyway. So that's a mic drop on my part as far as I'm concerned. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, anyway. Um, so, uh, so yeah, and, and you know, like when I, when I first started there, like I, I feel like there's a general sense that, it's not explicitly said, but there's like a general sense that like you kind of have to be nice to each other, you know, you have to be, like, civil and cordial and whatever, and especially to someone new, like, all right, listen, you know, there's this new guy, Joshua, that we're bringing in, and, you know, please, just just go easy on him, just, like, just be nice to him, you know, whatever, and, like, I kind of had a sense that they were, like, instructed to do that, um, you know, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I could, t- like, they, I, I could just tell they didn't like me, they were, like, annoyed, you know, um, it's, you know, they they were just annoyed more than anything, um, because if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna commit to it all the way. So I I bring personality into everything I do, you know. So I bring this like high energy, high enthusiasm, you know, uh, creativity and all this into this like bland environment. But the problem is, when I was brand new, I I like I didn't know anything about the job and the setting so like I would I would just mess things up constantly 
and then it makes their jobs harder and all that. And the whole time I'm like high energy and, and whatever, and it's like it just adds to the annoyance on their part. So I, I understand it now, so I don't blame any of them. They're completely justified for being frustrated with me. But now, you know, that I'm sort of in the groove there and I'm, I'm better at my job uh, and all that, uh, I'm, you know, getting the hang of things and all that. I have like a routine established and, you know, they've come to recognize and accept uh, my many quirks, I suppose, like the unique things that I do and, and stuff and, you know, uh, and communication has become more effective and all that, you know, so um, they're actually most of them are starting to warm up to me. There's a few that still don't like me, but, you know, I, I'm a very polarizing person. So, like, half of all people love me and half of all people hate me, you know? That's just the way it's going to be. Um, so, and not many people just think I'm okay, you know? Very few. Uh, most people have strong feelings toward me. <clears throat> Everybody's either like, oh, I love that guy, or I can't stand that guy, you know? So I just think it's funny. Um... But most of them actually seem to act, actually kind of kind of like my personality, so that's that's good, and that's another thing that adds to the the confidence, which is something that's new to me. Um, I think what I'm building now is a stronger sense of confidence than I've ever had in my life because, you know, the position that I'm in in my life, I have the most freedom, the most power, the most like. I'm the most of a person now. I have a job. I have money. I have a car. I have, you know, I'm about to have a, a college degree. You know, I have, like, all this stuff that I never had at any other time in my life. So I actually have a reason to be confident, you know, and, like, a reason to to be proud, you know, and to to be, like, you know, to, to feel like I'm actually doing something, you know. And so... You know, now, you know, with, with all the, with having this, this sort of interesting relationship with these people and all that, it's, it's, a, very inter it's a very interesting relationship that we all have with each other. Um, you know, and having like two thirds of them be positive. And especially, like, this one in particular, like, caught me off guard because she really did not like me when I started. Like, I was worried she was going to, like, try to get me fired like it was that it was that bad um to the point where she literally said you know stay the bleep away from me <laughs> like like literally like just don't don't talk to me you know don't like just you know if you need like something from me or whatever like it, it just just keep it professional <laughs> you know <laughs> like, so you really can't get any more any more clear than that and then literally Literally, like, she said that to me on my way out. And then the next day, uh, the next day that I come into work, she's just, like, acting like my best friend. Like, literally. And not addressing that, not like, oh, hey, sorry for yesterday or whatever. Like, no, just pretending it never happened. And I just, oh, hey, Joshua, you know? Like, what's good? And, you know, everything's like, oh, you're so funny. You're so smart. You're whatever, like... What the um, what? Uh, where's this coming from? You know. But I was just kind of like, oh, okay. You know. All right. I guess this is where we're at now. You know. So it's like I I just I just go with the flow. Whatever. It's like okay. You don't like me. All right. That's fine. You know. Oh, you like me? Okay. You know. I'll play along with that. And that's a, I just like messing with people too. So <laughs> there's a lot of like running things I have. You know, with, with people there because they you know, they're all young for the most part. They're mostly like you know, teenagers and stuff. So it's. They're real easy to to get a rise out of, so I just think it's I just think it's fun, um, <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, so, um, but yes, I mean that one in particular is like now uh, who knows, <laughs> who knows where things are gonna go? Okay, whatever, that's definitely unexpected, um, but yeah, so uh. You know, and if he, and then obviously, like I said about earlier, but um, yeah, so a lot of with with those uh, connections and that that sort of you know subconscious support network, I guess you could say, it's like it's a more it creates a more powerful sense of this, you know, 
So I feel like the jaunt that I'm taking next, or the jaunt that I'm like right on the cusp of taking, is an extremely positive thing. Um, and I foresee that the coming weeks will be very happy for me, and very, very positive for me, or at least working towards, or maybe the few weeks after that then, you know, whatever. But I think the direction that I'm heading in next is going to be very positive, because I think I'm coming out of this cycle of evolution, where things are evolving so rapidly in my mind that I just, I, my, my mind can't keep up with itself, and it leads to these these side effects. And so I think now that's sort of finally like the puzzle, or this puzzle is complete, you know, or the last few pieces are being assembled, and now it's like, okay, now we can catch up, and now we can, like, move on, you know, like, with the, the, the story circle's complete, you know, the protagonist returns changed, basically, you know, and I'm definitely changed, I'll tell you what, since the last, since the last Cold Night Chats video I made, changed, oh, that's an understatement. I was changed the next day, and then I was changed again equally as much the day after that, and then equally as much the day after that. So, three weeks. Now, last time this happened, it was like two and a half months. So, three weeks, that'd be a lot faster. Was it more intense? I don't know. I'm not sure. It might be, but I feel like... I feel like the first time felt more intense, but that's only because it was new. And so this one might have actually been more intense or whatever, but I just have a frame of reference now where I'm like, okay, well, something similar to this has happened before. So I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> but I will tell you that, you know, unfortunately, my mind can be a scary place. And uh, it's kind of a helpless feeling, you know, on those days that I'm, I'm talking about where it's either depression or anxiety or both or whatever, uh, or even the confusion and I just can't make it stop. And nothing I do can make it stop. Now, some days, you know, uh, depending on the, on the severity, you know, because if I'm just, like, a little bit depressed, it's like, yeah, just, you know, just listen to some music, just exercise, just, you know, take a nap, <laughs> whatever. You know, watch some comedy or whatever. It's like, you know, you'll be, you'll be fine. You, you know, you'll, you'll be all right. You can get through the day. But, you know, depending on the severity, some, some days it's, it just doesn't do it. You just got to wait. You just got to wait for the day to be over, and you have to try not to let anything happen over the course of that day that will have adverse effects on future days as a result, you know, so don't do anything that's self-destructive in any way, um, you know, and that's, that's about it, and so you just have to be mindful of that and just, you know, carry on with your, and also by avoiding self-destructive, it also means like procrastination, for example. You know, like, okay, you have an assignment to do that weekend, like today's Saturday, and you have the weekend to do your assignment. Don't just say like, oh, well, I don't, I don't feel good today, so I'll do, I'll do it tomorrow. No, do half of it today and do half of it tomorrow because you have two days, you know? Like, it doesn't matter. I don't care if you're depressed. You, you, do the, you do the work anyway, you know? So it's just about, you know, not letting it negatively affect your life. And that goes back to my thing like two or three of these ago about, like, don't, you know, don't be a slave to depression, you know, don't let it control your life. Well, that was going to be my empowering Let's Talk video and all that. Um, coming, coming full circle. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, um, you know, so it's just kind of a scary thing. It's like a helpless feeling when I'm in that, because at the time, it's like, oh, it's this again. I can't, I can't do this. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep feeling like this. I just, I don't want to live if I'm going to keep feeling like this, you know? And those, these are literally things I've said to myself, you know? I just, I don't, like, it's not, it's not worth it. A lot of times I feel like, well, the good in life isn't worth it because I'm, no matter how happy I am, no matter how fulfilled I am in my life, I'm always going to come back to this at some point, you know? And it, like, it's just a very, like, helpless thing, where it's like, I, I can't escape this no matter what, you know, uh, it's just, and maybe I'm wrong, you know, maybe that's not the case, maybe there will come a point in my life 
where I'm like, wow, I haven't felt depressed in at all in like years now, you know, hopefully, maybe, you know, we can't, I'm not going to say that's impossible, but, you know, based on my life is that like, even in the happiest parts of my life, I still can't go more than like a week without having at least one day or at least one hour in there, you know, because it's not, it's not always a, a full day, but, you know, I can't go like a full week without having at least one hour that's depression, you know, just for no reason, it's like, it can be, it can be the happiest week ever, you know, nothing but good, nothing but positive energy I'm surrounded by, you know, I could be at, at Disney World every one of those days, <laughs> you know, and still, there's going to be some amount of time that's going to be, that I'm going to be in a negative mindset, you know, and it's just so, like, helpless to me that it's not, like, something I can control or conquer, basically, in that, you know, uh, like, and to hear myself saying these things out loud is, is just, like, oh, you know, it's devastating, but, you know, uh, so it's just a part of me, and it always has been, and it seems like it's always going to be. And so that's just something I have to accept that, like, well, it's just part of the package of life, you know? So, but, like, days like today, today and yesterday and all that, I feel great. I feel amazing. I feel fine. There's not, a, there's not an hour, there's not a minute of depression. And so it's like, yes, it is worth it for days like today, you know? I think. But, um, you know, it's easy to have more clarity. It's easy. It's easy when you're feeling good. It's so easy to be like, oh, it's easy to feel good. You should feel good too. You have no excuse for not feeling good all the time. It's easy when you're, when you're, when you're flying high. It's easy to say, oh, well, everything's great. The world's great. You're great. You know, what's the matter? Cheer up, you know. But, you know, it's so much harder, like, to, I don't know. So I'm able to recognize, like, even right now, I'm feeling very happy, and I'm feeling very positive and good, but I, I still know, you know, I still know, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that has, that has been one thing, so I wonder where the future of that's gonna go, um, <coughs> uh, but yeah. So, um, let's see, what was I, I feel like I was right in the middle of something, maybe if I take a sip of water it'll jog my memory, how about that? Mm. Alright, oh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm getting kind of hungry now, I <laughs> just want to eat something. Um, alright, anything else important? say um well i'll just say life <clears throat> feels the most real right now than it ever has you know and you know we're stepping outside the comfort zone the safeties are off there is no there's no padding down there if i fall it's it's just death it's just some it spikes that's what it is. I'm like I'm walking a tightrope, and if I fall, it spikes. That's it. There's no there's no cushion. There's no second chance. There's no, like, you know, like that's it. You know, the stakes are higher. And it's really it's it's frustrating for me that I I can't comfortably go into detail about specific things, uh, for many reasons, um, about you know, my personal life and stuff like that. But um. You know, suffice to say, definitely things are getting real. Things are getting interesting. Um, and yeah, like I said, I think I'm I'm heading to a more positive place. But that's not to say, obviously, that there's not going to be any days or any amounts of time that are are going to be sort of a retrograde. But I think overall, you know, it's a two steps forward, one step back kind of situation. Um, so. You know, uh, 
and on every level, you know, both in terms of days, two good days, one bad day, two good days, one bad day, all that. And then in terms of the cycle, you know, two good months, one bad month, two good months, one bad month, whatever, you know, it's like there's a longer term thing on there too. And so when you're in that prolonged cycle of negativity, even if it is still only a third of the time, and even if each time is a little bit less negative than the last one, you know, it still feels overwhelming, you know? So it's just like, and I, I know I'm aware at the time, I'm like, this will pass, you know, tomorrow you'll be back to feeling amazing, you know, and being like, life is great, everything's great, everything is fantastic, you know? But right now, that's not how I feel, you know. It's, uh, I mean, at the t that's what I would say at the time, you know. And so, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta get through it. But um, but yeah. So, yeah, and that's another thing too that I think this this job has been helping me with is like, there's been a lot of days where I really did not feel like going to work and especially in an environment like that that's just so like social and you're like forced to interact with a bunch of people and, and all this stuff um <clears throat> both familiar and unfamiliar you know and um you know a lot of days I just just really did not want to but I forced myself to anyway and I think I'm better off for it you know because I'm I'm learning these skills of like Leave it at the door when you come to work, basically, you know? Just, like, you, you, you just just fake it till you make it, you know? Like, keep being, be your same self that you would be on your best day, you know? And do that every day. Like, make sure that nobody can tell the difference, you know? And so it worked for the most part. I mean, obviously, when I was, like, brand new, like, my first week, you know, if there was one of those days, it'd be like, you know, something's wrong with Joshua, you know? But now it's to the point where, like, I, I got it down. I got, the, I got the, the recipe down for being me at work, you know, being what people expect me to be there. Um, no matter how, so that no matter how I'm feeling, I can just go through the checklist and be like, okay, well, do this, do that, make one of these kind of jokes, you know, like do this thing, uh, you know, complete these tasks and say this and say that and, you know, make sure you do, like, I have my little, my little signature things, my little finesse things, my little, like, you know, Joshua was here kind of, kind of stuff. Um, and it's like, you know, and a lot of, and I will say more than 50% of the time, I actually sort of acquire a taste for it. And throughout the day, I sort of like hype myself up by doing that, or I'm like, and especially if it's a positive environment, you know, uh, you know, the, people I'm around are, like, into it and stuff like that, it's like, you know, I, I actually feel better, you know, um, so fake it till you make it, in a lot of ways, like, it actually does kind of work if you have a checklist of things that you do when you're feeling good, yeah, that's what I'd say, make a checklist of things that, that you observe, you know, things that you notice that you do, or say, or behaviors, or ways that you act, and get as specific as you can. Get as very specific as you can. Um, <clears throat> of things you do when you're just like, it's just one of those days where you're just like really bubbly and just soup, like your, your best day, you know? And you're just, you're feeling really good. Like you cannot wipe the smile off your face. It's one of those days, you know? Um, and so make a checklist of all those things so that if you're ever... Not if you're ever in a negative state of mind, and you, but you still have to live life. You know, you have to go to work or go to school or you know do some kind of special event or whatever, uh, or even just daily interactions and stuff. It's like go through that checklist, complete it, do it. You know, complete all of those behaviors, even if your heart's not in it at first, because I think it it's worth a shot to at least try to recreate that that positive reinforcement. And if there's any truth at all to the law of attraction, you know, about positive energy attracting positive energy and, and negative energy attracting negative energy and, and input and output and all that stuff, I think that it will give you a sincere positive response. That's what I'm trying and it's working for me. 
Um, I'm about to run out of space on here. This is already like a double length thing. So it's probably going to cut out at any second. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll close the, I'll close the book here and, uh, you know, we'll see the, the, the rest is still unwritten as, uh, what uh, Alicia Keys, I think, uh, put it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So volume two, uh, volume, whatever the next volume, uh, we'll see, we'll see. And I don't know when it'll be, but 